We're at Dense Lake today. It's our on one of our wildlife management areas, and we are doing a bluegill study. It's a sunfish study. We look at bluegill as being kind of a gateway fish species. It introduces a lot of people to fishing. They typically will start with bluegill fishing, whether it's when they were young with Mickey Mouse poles, and they'll eventually grow up and graduate to, say, bass, walleye, muskie, catfish, whatever it may be. But most of us started off with bluegill fishing. There's still a lot of people that like to bluegill fish, but we have never really concentrated fish management wise on growing those larger bluegill and this is designed to do exactly that. Some of the things that we look at are the sizes of bluegills that we get, the numbers of bluegill, how fast they grow, and there's a few things that factor into that. There's often a sort of a misconception that you, you can't over harvest bluegills. What you can do is drastically alter the size of fish that are present. It's important to limit the harvest of really large bluegills. It's also important that we found to have a dense population of small largemouth bass. Bass are your most most effective tool at thinning out those small to intermediate bluegills that can kind of slow or stunt the growth in a bluegill population. So if you have a, a dense population of bass, if you have enough food in a lake for bluegills, and if you have the right level of harvest, not too much, but enough to sort of thin out six to eight inch fish, then you have the potential to grow large fish that are over eight inches up to nine, ten inches, and that's what we've seen with this study. We selected several of our small lakes to look at and see if they have the potential for large bluegill management. We've collected bluegills, bass, anything that's in the lake. We've accumulated all this data and are trying to determine the best way to manage for bluegill fisheries. So we have several different tools we can use. In certain lakes, habitat management may be the best. On other lakes, experimental regulations may be most beneficial in order to try and conserve some of those larger bluegills in the population. So it's really just about finding the right set of tools to use and finding a good balance between allowing folks to harvest fish but also improving the quality of fisheries available.